are you going to solve this? Uh, I would like to solve this uh, step by step. So if we were to take the step one first, but before that, you need to rem remember that you are going to make use of this uh, isentropic relation for ideal gas as well, depending on the process that you are dealing with. So, Alright, but first let us uh, interpret this uh, physical diagram into your TS diagram first. So, this is your TS diagram. You have uh, one compression work. And then you have this combustion going out you will experience higher pressure turbine but because of you don't have this reheating part and you have this isentropic efficiency of your high pressure turbine so you are going to have some things like this this is the intermediate pressure and because your high pressure turbine has an isentropic process, so it's going to be something like this. And going up from your high pressure turbine will be your low pressure turbine. And again, you are going to experience the actual part over here. And not to forget the actual part of your compressor. Right, so now that you can label all your process together so this is the compression part state 1 to 2s this will be your actual value 2a this is your 3 going out is your 4s this is your 4 actual and this is actually your 5s and this is your five actual your x value which is the regenerative part over here is somewhat in between state 2 and 3 so you can place your x somewhat in here so now your q in will be in between your x and 3 where combustion takes place so this is your Q in and the one that's going to uh, experience your regenerative which is in this area in between uh, this one and your this one so this area only right so you are going to consider between your 5A and your 2A and your X and your 2A for this effectiveness of your regenerator. Alright, so let's let us continue with this solving part. I would like to solve it um, uh, in a process state. So if we take the process from 1 to 2, this is actually a compression process. So from state 1 to state 2, it is a compression process but it happens in isentropic where your s1 your s1 value is equal to your s2s so this is basically isentropic compression so because of this isentropic relation then only you can make use of this value in order to find whatever value that you are looking for so in this case it is T2S over your T1 now it's either you are going to use the pressure relation or the specific volume relation so given to you your P max over P min is 5 which is in this case this is your minimum pressure this is your maximum pressure so it is best if we are using your pressure relations so this will become P2 over your P1 uh, K minus 1 over K so when you rearrange your T2S this will become 
298 times if you're 5 and 0 0.4 over 1.4 and finally you will get the answers as 472 Kelvin now you are given the isentropy efficiency of your compressor over here which is 0 0.8 so you are going to consider your actual value over here this actual value is important in solving the three questions that has been asked so let's have a look the relations of your compressor so you have isentropy of your compressor is actually the isentropic work over the actual and because we are dealing with your ideal gas so you are going to make use of your temperature difference so this is T2S minus your T1 because the work of compressor is between this state over with your Cp T2A minus your T1 is equal to 0 0.8 now because the Cp value is the same so you cancel out the CP term and when you rearrange this mathematical expression you will get finally your T2A is equal to 505.5 Kelvin